Hi Virgo, this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of March 2022. It's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. That is perfectly okay. If you'd like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box below this video. And that is Mannix messing with the camera. That's my cat. Hopefully he will stop <laughs> and not make it crooked. All right, uh, do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. So let's see, Virgo, what is going on with you for the first couple weeks of March 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. First card out, we have the Six of Wands crossed by the Five of Swords. <clears throat> Okay, so this is somebody here who needs to stand up for themselves um, and is having a hard time standing up for themselves against other people because um, either they, they feel like they need the recognition or they need the validation. It could be a status issue. Um, that's what I'm getting here. That seems to be an issue um, at the moment. Could be you, could be the other person. Um, it does feel though that whoever this is, they do want true true victory for their own self. Um, but it could be somebody who is also easily taken taken advantage of, like like a people pleaser. Uh, let's see, for you, your energy, we have the King of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm not sure if, if this um, is you. It could be that you might that you might be serving a little bit um, in terms of giving energy to others. You know, gi giving more than than you receive. Okay, so that could be you. It doesn't necessarily mean that this is you here, but it does feel like you might have a little bit of that um, quality as well. You definitely have a lot of love here for someone with this King of Cups. Um, we'll see. We'll see when we clarify. Because I also get that, you know, you you may or may not be in communication with this person, but I feel like you are very interested in finding something out or in knowing what is actually going on here. So for them, we have the Four of Wands, the World, and Death. All right, so this is also Scorpio energy. Um, this person... There's a commitment here. It could be you. However, I feel like whatever this is, there's some kind of a completion, some kind of an ending, a big ending actually. And it's a successful ending to something, to something that was serving as a very strong foundation in their lives. I'm not sure if this is you. We'll see. Um, potential outcome, we have the Seven of Cups. All right, so possibly some distractions or some options presenting themselves. We'll see. Let's clarify and see what's going on here. Yeah, Mannix thinks it's playtime, apparently. So, really sorry about the noise. Let's see. So, the Six of Wands with the Five of Swords. Two of Wands, the Seven, sorry, the Six of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. All right, guys, give me one sec because <laughs> Maddox is distracting me. I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully he's done <laughs> making all that noise. I adjusted the camera a little bit, too. Um, all right, so Two of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, clarifying the very first cards out. Um, I, I feel like this connection has had issues like moving forward. I feel like there has been um, some either holding back or it was just not able to really move forward because somebody is giving a lot of energy possibly to other things. Um, and so because of that, it feels like it almost feels like they're going against um, what they would really want, almost like going against their own will in a way. <clears throat> so, 
So it definitely feels like, yeah, somebody is putting in a lot of effort towards something which isn't even giving them results, really. So again, this could be you or it could be, it could be them. Um, let's see for you. Let's see the King of Cups. We have the King of Swords and we have the Two of Swords. Okay, so there's a lot of there's a lot of emotions here, as I said, that you have for this person. But at the same time, you it's like you're trying to think rationally, and and your what you're thinking rationally, or some just things that you just know. There's a huge clash here. Um, it's like it's contradictory. So you feel these emotions, but your mind is telling you, well, you know what, this isn't working, and it's not moving forward. So it almost feels like you're at a crossroads, um, really not knowing how to go about this let's see the page of swords because like i said i feel like you are though still interested it just you you don't see how it can work three of pentacles and the knight of wands okay so you're still you're still feeling like maybe there's this like small part of you that's saying maybe we can work this out um, but it will require some collaboration it, it might even require some compromises somebody's going to have to make compromises here possibly you're thinking that the other person might have to make compromises or it could even be for your own self that you would have to compromise but again it just feels like like even though you're still interested and it's like you're still kind of exploring the idea of you know, can we make these compromises? Can we actually bring this together and make it work? It's like, then there's the other side of you that feels like, how is that even possible? Like, it just feels um, so difficult to achieve. Or it could be that you just feel like the other person might not agree to this. Let's see the Six of Pentacles. The lovers that's Gemini and the two of Pentacles yeah there's some kind of an imbalance you're trying to bring a balance here because again it feels like compromise is needed teamwork is needed from both sides and I feel like there's something is off even though there is a very strong connection here with this person and otherwise you know it wouldn't be such a difficult situation there you wouldn't be at the crossroads if the emotions weren't there you would have left because it just feels like it's so difficult to either compromise or to come to some kind of a, an agreement to see things you know from the same perspective and figure out some kind of a solution to something so i do see you trying to bring in that balance i feel like from your end but you're not sure if the other person is also doing it from their end like, are they going to meet you halfway? So let's see what's going on with this other person. Let's see the Four of Wands. And again, roles can be reversed. We have the Queen of Swords and Death. Okay, so that's two times that they're getting Death, two times that we're getting Scorpio. Um, they're ending something here. And it could even be related to family for some of them. Um, possibly ending some kind of a cycle like within a family dynamic maybe even marriage or some kind of a commitment I feel like that we had something similar for Taurus so maybe some of you are also dealing with the Taurus let's see the world definitely though something something is ending here something that has served a very like strong purpose in their lives and there's a lot of um clarity over this ending that is it's it needs to end so let's see the world the nine of wands and the knight of swords yeah it's not an easy one it's not an easy ending but um they're taking action they're taking action towards um closing out some kind of a cycle i don't i don't feel like it's you It's like there's still, 
they still have a little way to go with that nine of wands, but it's like they're almost there. Like that cycle is almost complete. Let's see, death, three of wands and the hermit. Okay, so there's you showing up here in their energy, right, the Virgo. Um, huh, see, <laughs> it's not about you. This ending is not about you because there's, there's some kind of an ending, but because of that ending, it's like it's opening up the path towards you. But it's, it's like, because it's the Hermit though and the Three of Wands, it's like this person is kind of going within, still keeping some kind of a distance, but looking at you in their future. I feel like this ending is coming with a major transformation for them. So whatever that is, um, it will definitely take some time for them to adjust, adjust to that. So I don't know what it is that you would want from them um, in terms of compromise or giving back, uh, but it might be related to whatever is closing out here. Because if this person was giving energy um, to whatever this four of wands was here, that's ending. That's coming to an end. All right, Seven of Cups for the potential outcome here. Seven of Swords, Justice, and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, so, okay, things are moving in the direction of justice, okay? So it, this could even be like um, something in terms of legal, legal contracts, for example, which is moving towards their wish fulfillment, right? Um, happiness. love right but i have why why does there need to be a but <laughs> i can't help it there is i have to say what i see um they are moving in that direction it just feels like for the time being there's a, um, a bit of distractions all right with all of this that's going on because i do feel like this is them um there's a bit of distractions but i do like that that five of swords is actually turning into that seven of swords all right there's a progression here in a positive direction the seven of swords is still like very shady um could still be hiding things could still have a little bit of like back and forth but but it is progress all right from that five of swords and it is still heading towards towards justice it just feels like you know there are some um like options here that need to be dealt with decided on and it could be serving as distractions from this for a little while but at the end of the day justice is here though so that is a major decision having taken place and it's also the right decision. Things coming into balance. All right, Virgo. So the final message for you, if this resonated, is the new moon. A new start is coming. Well, it definitely feels that way. A new start is coming. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. I thank you so much for watching, Virgo, and much love.